Hello everybody and welcome to an ep a new episode of my let's play uh, I'm going to show you guys what uh, I did since last time I haven't been played uh, been playing um, a lot lately uh, don't really know why with the release of 1.2 I've been on and off going through that and I've been also responding to a few of a few videos out there uh, 1.2 seems to be a little bit more fun of course with the new rest on lamps and um, I don't remember where it is <laughs> uh, I really have to build a, um, a railway system to this location but uh, haven't got uh, haven't got to doing that I think this is it isn't it yeah this is the zombie spawner um, I'll show you the zombie spawner in action and after that I'll show you if I can remember where I put it my um, What you call it? My test the world uh, configuration for this guy. Okay, let's put that back. Maybe get ourselves a philosopher stone. Thank you. Oh, I had the portal. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> this goes to show how uh, how long ago I played the last time on this map. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys so let's turn it from peaceful okay and let me show you this uh, room really quick it's a basic room nothing too fancy for now I just uh, made the walls a little bit bigger I mean higher just for the looks because uh, of course it's uh, not really important to make uh, anything higher than two blocks uh, on the other side of these pistons there is the zombie spawner as you can see by the writing and let's hope everything works everything should work where's my sword yeah I enchanted the sword uh, I don't want that sword I want some, something I can break. Okay, see on that guy. Do I have any... Hello. Not here. Maybe here. Yeah, I have some sticks. Okay. I want a sword, please. And there you have it, basically one hit. Um, if I if I punch him with my bare hands, there are um, I have to hit him twice. Even if I lower that uh, stone over there with one, I still have to hit them at least um, two times. The drop is 23 blocks, by the way. But uh, hey. Uh, okay, enough for that. Uh, let's go back on. Actually, you know what? I want to show you my system of getting rid of the zombies. Uh, okay, let's push the button. And we have a few guys over here. Hello. Come on, there you go. As you probably guessed, uh, I am using the laser mod for this uh, zombie spawner. And uh, let me just uh, go to peaceful and also creative. Just to. What is it? There it is. Ah, I'm already. <laughs> okay. Uh, creative just to show you guys how this uh, this thing works uh, my 
wireless transmitter and I have no idea on which fre frequency I put this guy let me just go here on frequency 1 okay Whoop. let's go frequency 1 uh, maybe 2 or 0 Yeah, I did something wrong. I have no idea. Turn it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, my computer is lagging a little bit. Uh, let me just pause frequency two again, and just to show you guys that. Uh, this here is open oh. all right so what happens uh, when i press frequency 2 basically i uh, is the same thing as i would uh, press that button over there so let's do it again okay and we'll with wireless redstone basic and a little bit of red power um, wires of course these pistons retract which uh, in turn uh, let's go to the water also all the lighting in the room is uh, shut off except for the light from the lasers which I have no idea how to make them not <laughs> not go off um, and so basically let's uh, let's play the role of a zombie I am a zombie, I want brains. Okay, this is a push laser, and another push laser, and another push laser. <laughs> the only laser that uh, isn't pushing me is the one from over here, that one uh, over there, because that laser pushes for 10 blocks and I I need to get higher than the 20 blocks so this laser uh, pulls me for another 10 blocks okay and there is a small difference between uh, where this uh, laser ends and when this one begins there is a two gap okay um, this one again pushes I go over here and this one again pushes and as you can see there is a difference level in here but it doesn't matter because uh, once you get pushed by this guy you tend to go up near the ceiling and this guy just uh, finishes the job and pushes you along and it's actually very quick let me get uh, Done it. Yeah, I have some smooth stone. I have no idea from where. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, um, and that was why it was so laggy. Yeah, the, the zero pulse. Um, starts my portal in the base uh, okay let's go out of peaceful again and shut this as you can see the lights are on when the door is open okay and they are closed when uh, and we already have a zombie spawning in there and that zombie should really really fast get in there as you can see Usually with a water-based system, when you first heard, uh, since you first hear the zombie, uh, the, it takes about uh, maybe half a minute or a, a full minute for uh, him to uh, to get over there. But uh, with the, this laser system, is actually pretty pretty easy. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun building that. Um, let me pause the video right here and go in my test world just to show you guys uh, the basic uh, structure. 
Okay, so we are in our test world. Uh, let's go creative. As you can see, I have a spawner over here. Come on, let's get it. All right, and let's see what happens to this little fellow. And there he goes. Let me just, I don't want uh, to break, really break this guy, but just to show you guys. As you can see, there is a, um, a small gap between uh, the tractor beam and the pushing beam actually this is a very big gap <laughs> but uh, just for uh, the purpose of demonstrating actually I didn't want that guy over there let me just oh what's with the rain as you can see there is no floor here I just don't need one since um, the, that beam pushes them come on maybe some eggs S zombie eggs let's see <laughs> it's actually quite fun to watch yeah and basically these guys are one hit kill I mean yeah uh, in my um, survival world I had to put uh, as you could see let's kill this guy also I had to put uh, another, another laser in here okay facing that way because I want to be pretty much in line with my um, um, spawner although I really am I'm not but uh, as you could see I could get from the spawner directly in, through the doors so I needed uh, them to land somewhere over here here maybe so yeah I put another laser over there let's play a little bit and get ourselves in trouble <laughs> let's go with this guys hello yay Boom. um yeah that's what uh, I wanted to show you guys oh oh I know um I, I installed two new mods um there aren't uh, industrial mods but um let me show let me see if I can okay show you guys um oh, I don't know recording maybe something pretty old. um there are basically terrain generation mods that uh, have to do with um, uh, one of them is uh, the big trees mod and the other of them is uh, nature overhaul and let me just get it like that and let's hope it doesn't crash while I'm recording <laughs> it's a very very um, processor intensive um, mods as you can see the taiga trees are a little bit bigger okay they even have roots so this is the big trees mod and I'll show you a, a little bit uh, what the um, I love these trees what the nature overhaul does where can I find some forest please the forests are beautiful that's the only word I can find right now just beautiful some uh, Billcraft toil right there really loving this <laughs> 
and it actually works really really well with the other mods I, I wasn't expecting expecting that oh so now I'm uh, as you can see even the red power volcanoes don't have a problem with um, these two ge generation these two mods which is quite nice I have my render distance on short of course because uh, I've tried it with normal and it's excruciating <laughs> let's say I'll let it uh, render for a little bit okay come on I want a tree biome something with a lot of trees please what the hell oh <laughs> My race minis map is uh, is I thought it was I don't know lagging or something, but actually that's how the snow covers the, these trees. Yeah. So this is uh, a forest. Unfortunately, it's a frozen forest, but as you can see, it's it's amazing. Uh, oh, there's a forest. There's a forest. Okay, it would have been nice even to get in a um, in a swamp forest. The swamp forests are actually the most beautiful ones. And there you have it, people. Big ass trees. Of course, uh, the generation doesn't mess up with uh, the red power trees, which are. Uh, big as hell from the beginning or the industrial craft trees it just messes with the um, vanilla trees and now we don't, don't the the red power trees aren't the biggest trees <laughs> in the land <laughs> yeah um, I even tried my um, oh, I even tried my um, tree capitator mod on uh, the vanilla trees whoop go away darn it <laughs> and it gets laggy <laughs> it gets really really laggy man that's a beautiful sight just seeing a, a dove or what's it called in a, in a tree like this and even a herd of deer dove <laughs> over there that's that's something nice nice very nice as you can see the the big trees mod uh, goes very well with um more creatures um what did i want to show you oh nature overhaul okay 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 so let's get some um bone meal maybe destroy a few oh no no and uh, saplings I want some saplings please okay let's put in on peaceful because uh, because I don't want guys to destroy and just to show you guys so I'm throwing uh, some saplings on the ground which usually doesn't mean anything okay so I don't know, let's get through on a um, day-night cycle over here. Okay, because I, I've seen that helps. Uh, maybe just need some time. We'll see. Uh, I'll get back to that in a little bit. And um, usually in uh, three in forests like these ones, um, something special falls from the trees and that is if you put it with bone meal it can drop either cocoa beans apples uh, or saplings as you could see <laughs> this also drop naturally so when you're um, walking through a forest you now and then you'll see an apple, some saplings on the ground, some uh, trees dying. Oh, and as you could see, the saplings planted themselves into the ground. That's very, very neat. 
this is basically nature overhaul okay if uh, I don't know a forest fire breaks out the forest pardon me the forest basically regenerates itself that's uh, that's why I wanted uh, this uh, this mod it's of course as I said uh, in excruciating for the processor but um, it's 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 beautiful <laughs> what can I say <laughs> man and with these trees I mean look at this look at this I am in a river and let me just get a boat oh come on and in a swamp biome it's even more beautiful so I'm in a river I'm just cruising along and I have these overhanging trees I mean phew. I'm 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 speechless <laughs> okay let's maybe make this uh, night time come on okay <clears throat> oh come on um uh, there you have it i do i have my render on i am have it on short but it's lagging oh uh. And you can imagine um, having a, a better computer or something like that and uh, just cruising along on the riverside and going and going and forest, forest and more forest as you can see. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> this is actually very nice. The, the forestry beehives uh, don't have a problem generating which is I find I, I I am speechless. I mean, come on. This is uh, how well uh, it works with the other mods. Yeah. Well, I I'm um, I could stare at this uh, at this uh, for forever. So <laughs> I'm gonna end the video now. Another beehive. Whoa! Another beehive. Where did I see it? There it is. Another beehive, as you can see. So yeah. Um, please rate, comment and subscribe guys and uh, as usual don't forget to be awesome.